All right, good morning, happy Friday uh, to all of you out there listening to Valuable Physical Education. Uh, it's been our first week. Uh, we had a great interview with uh, Miss Angela McNamara from College Prep Middle School, and she covered a lot of great topics, and we, we're going to try and continue to cover some of the same things, but also when we talk to physical educators in go into more detail about other items and you know really if there's any items that you want to see you know, make sure you contact us uh, via Instagram or Facebook you, know, you can see our our name down here at the bottom for for those you know it's just it's valuable coaching it's easy to find um, on Facebook easy to find at valuable coaching on Instagram and you know direct message us and let us know what topics you want to hear about what you think you need help with from from ourselves, from from other physical educators, and really some of them may just be to get validation. Um, Miss McNamara Lowe on uh, Tuesday did a great job talking about how she builds her units. She really went into depth about the sport education model, and you know I think that was a great way to break down how to do those those kind of units. Um, she talked about some great fundraising ideas. Um, we looked at grading some, and she talked a little bit about her philosophy and why she got into teaching and. I think these are all important parts uh, of us learning from each other uh, to know so that you know you can have an idea of and, and some again validation about why you're being a physical educator and and so you know we're going to continue to to talk to these people and we're going to try and get some professors on and other people um, to end the week this week you know Kevin has uh, made kind of a cool video and we're going to release it on its own too and, and we're going to continue to have these each week but I thought this week because we we needed some material for Friday and you know he did a great job with this video I'm going to, I'm going to show it here in a minute but it's really about communication and um, it's something that over the year that I've learned that communication with families is, is really key and you know you got to find what works for you and Kevin's going to give his great tip that he's got and it's something that I'm going to try and use you know especially when we get back to more normal PE um, I'm not really able to do physical education too much right now, but um, this is a great tip going forward for all physical educators out there, again, to, to stay in touch with families. And, you know, again, we, we want to show that, you know, at least for me, I want to always be showing that physical education is right on par with any of the other subjects. You know, I think one thing that we've seen during this COVID time is that staying healthy is really important, um, you know, for our overall health. And, you know, it comes into play in everyday life. And so, you know, something we got to do. So to have families buy in is important and to communicate with them is important. So, you know, let's go ahead right now and, and check out this uh, awesome tip and nugget of wisdom from Coach uh, Kevin Pratt here. And then we'll come on back. Hi, you fantastic physical education teachers out there. Boy, do I have a great tip for you that has helped my career build relationships with my students, their families, and also have impressed my administrators. I give a total of five positive emails or five positive phone calls to my students' families a week. The reason why this is so effective is, is one, it builds great professional relationships with my students and their family. Second, it allows my principal to understand that I'm building a great community with PE because I CC the um, principal on the email and copy them on it. Three, it's a great way to reward the students and it's extremely cost effective. What parent doesn't like to hear how great their student is behaving in physical education? And finally, it also builds a relationship with the families. If anything is to happen in PE throughout the school year where you have to give a disciplinary phone call, you've already talked to those families in a positive light and they know your intentions are good. If you are gonna do this, I would strongly encourage you to run it by your principal, make sure that he or she approves of it, copy them in every email, and make sure you scan your environment, whether it's better to email the families or call them. I'm telling you, this tip has worked great for my career, and I hope you try it. All right. I love that tip. You know, giving positive phone calls, you know, too often it's, uh, you know, this kid was messing around in the locker room. That's the kind of interaction you have. If that's the only interaction you're having with families, then, 
you know, one, you're going to feel like you're not maybe doing the best job. And then two, you know, you are, you're not, you know, you're not connecting with those families in a positive manner. And so what a great tip to just, you know, something simple. I mean, how simple is it to do that? And like you said, it's, it's uh, inexpensive, you know, because again, sometimes we think of rewards like, oh, we got to reward a kid with some big, you know, even, even something like a certificate, which takes time to make and print. And, um, you know, and depending on your school, if, if you don't have unlimited kind of copies and stuff, it may not be something that you can do. You know, and then there's goodies you can buy. But again, all those things add up and, and cost money and stuff. And this is something that's simple. You call a family, you give them some positive feedback about how their kid was doing. And you know that kid is going to have, you know, a great rest of the, the week, the weekend. Um, and that family is going to be feeling good about how their kid is doing. So great tip from Kevin. Um, and, and we look forward to getting more of those little nuggets of wisdom from him. And, um, you know, I've, I've been at this for 15 years now. I'm... You know, I, I got some tricks up my sleeve, too, that I'll try and get out there. But um, thank you so much today to Kevin for that. A big thank you this week to Miss McNamara for giving us that great interview. And please, if you didn't watch some of those earlier videos, go back and listen. She's got some, some great um, nuggets in there as well of wisdom and, and things that you can interject into your lessons. So anyways, have a great weekend. Um, we look forward to coming back um, next week. we got a great interview with a, a newer physical educator. You know, and he's letting us know really some of the things that that were important in school and some of the things that maybe weren't taught so much and so it's it's kind of a valuable one for newer physical educators and even for older ones who are working with new new PE teachers so that they can you know you can ensure that you give them some of your tricks as as they come into you know their new job so anyways have a great weekend and uh, follow us on YouTube listen to us on Spotify wherever you listen to podcasts and we look forward to um, giving you guys more great physical education content next week. Hey, if you like that polo you saw in the video, check out onestoneapparel.com. There it is. Check it out, onestoneapparel.com. Great physical education clothes. These vocabulary tees work awesome. I have them at school. Perfect shirts for PE. Check them out, onestoneapparel.com.